Hi there, welcome back. Um, the other day I told you uh, about my tricks with uh, the figure four trap to make it a little bit better. And today it's time for another trap which is very similar to the figure four but it's uh, easier to make and actually you don't need a knife to make it with a figure four you need a sharp knife or something other um, something other thing sharp to to be able to carve the notches and stuff but with this trap you will not need that so let's put the knife away I already found me a dry stick from a spruce and we'll make the trap so I cut the first one um, somewhere here I find a rock with pretty sharp edge not very sharp but doesn't matter too much you can just break it right away also Nothing fancy, works great. Now, we need the other piece. See, this is gonna balance on this one, like so. so. I need some kind of a little notch here. Like so, hope you see that. Break it off at the end. Like so. And I need a little piece. Like so. This is the three pieces I need to make the Pi 2 Deadfall. It's also known as the Indian Deadfall Trap. And as you can see, you don't need any tools to make it. You don't need to scrape it on a, on a rock. You can just break the stick and use them as they are. A little more, a little bit more fiddly to fit a piece like that without making a notch, but it's possible. So let's go to the next step. I was a little quick when I said uh, these are all the pieces you need because you also need a bait stick that's just a straight thin piece without any notches anything so we get back to that later as a string I have some uh, um, what do you call it bank line and see this one, which are going to hold the rock. I have to tie the bank line to that one. I usually just do like this. Another one. And at the then I do just an overhand knot on top to secure it, like so. So the center of this knot comes uh, parallel with this. So, like so. This goes on the top and you tie the string to a little one which you're going around understand as you see this is actually 
much more easy trap to build. It's much easier to build it, much easier to set it than a figure four. And it took me, with videotaping and everything, it took me about uh, four or five minutes to make one set. So as you see, without a knife. Let's uh, find a bait stick, some bait, and set it for um, squirrel catching. I've been down to the lake and found myself some a few rocks, flat rocks. This uh, ground is so soft, so I need to have a smooth surface underneath the, uh, the trap, and I need the falling rock also to be able to crush the animal I want to catch. So let's set it. And yes, I made a bait stick. It's just a random stick with a cone at the end. And the idea is that the squirrel want this cone and will Try to remove it. And by doing that, it will release the trap. Well, hopefully you see the trap well enough from there. Jam this cone. Uh, this uh, cone. This cone is uh, without any seeds. But if you want to bait the uh, trap, you need uh, something that uh, the animal will like: nuts, seeds, anything. This stick barely touching the trigger stick, and when this toggles off. This will fly around like this and release the holding log. So this is the Pi 2 that fall. Very simple, very effective, easy to make, but you need a string. That's the part of it, you need a string. Or a piece of leather, a piece of clothing, anything that can work as a string. So, and then I need to camouflage, camouflage it a little bit. Like it's been there forever. Okay. Should we try set it off? Let's say the squirrel comes here, finds this very beautiful cone, and really wants to have it with him. We'll try to jiggle it off. And it's trapped. So, this was the Pi 2 deadfall trap, or also called Indian deadfall, and maybe some other names also. It's an um, effective trap, just as the figure 4. But as already said many times, much easier to make except that you need a piece of cordage. Hope you like it. Uh, I'm gonna do a few more um, trap videos, survival traps. It's a small survival trap series. So uh, if you like them, please subscribe and follow over my channel and you maybe you get some new tips. See you later.